Red eye in photos can sometimes be an issue, and in particular with older photos. When light from the camera's flash reflects off the retina of a photo subject, a red eye effect is captured in the photo. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to remove red eye from two old photographs that I have scanned and want to correct. I'll also show you a more advanced way of removing red eye from a more recent photograph. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, You'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. PaintShop Pro has two methods of removing red eyes from photos. The easiest method is to use the red eye tool, which I will demonstrate first. I have this scanned baby photo that I want to remove the red eyes from. To use the red eye tool, click on the red eye tool on the tools toolbar. On the Tool Options palette, we can adjust the size of the red eye control so that the pointer is about twice the size of the red area needing correction. Position the pointer directly over the eye and click. You can also size the pointer interactively by holding down Alt while clicking and dragging the red eye tool over the eye area. Then simply position the pointer directly over the eye and click again. You may need to click over the area twice to completely remove all the red. And just like that, we've removed all the red eye from this baby photo. Now I want to demonstrate a more advanced method, which works great for more difficult red eye photographs. Go to Adjust, then Red Eye Removal. You can see we have before and after windows so we can compare as we remove the red eye. At the bottom, you can change the view to Single, Dual Vertical, or keep it as dual horizontal. You can also adjust the zoom level to really zoom up on the eye, and then use the pan tool as well to position your viewpoint. Under method, choose auto human eye or auto animal eye if you're removing red eye from an animal or pet photo. Then from the hue dropdown list, choose the iris color. Under color, you can select the color variation. Note that the hue drop list is only available for the auto human eye method. You can click inside the red area of the eye to select the eye automatically, or drag from the center of the eye to the outside edge of the red area. If you accidentally create multiple eyes or want to start over, simply select the eye you want to delete and click Delete Eye. Now you can make adjustments to the pupil lightness, iris size, glint lightness, and glint size until the red eye is removed. You can also adjust the feather level so the edges of the corrected eye blends more naturally or adjust the blur levels. Increase these settings gradually until the eye blends naturally with the rest of the image. Now click on the second eye you wish to fix and the same settings will be applied. You can also click and drag on the eye to reposition it or drag on the handles to resize it. Click OK to finish. Now if you have a lower quality photo or a photograph where the eyes are irregular in shape or partially obscured, it's best to use the freehand pupil outline method or the point-to-point -point pupil outline method. This would also be the best method to use if you can't find the exact color match in the color setting with the auto human eye method. We're going to choose the freehand pupil outline method and click and drag to draw a selection around the red eye area. Note that if you choose the freehand pupil outline method or the point-to-point -point pupil outline method, you must confine the selection area to the pupil of the eye. These methods are designed to correct the pupil area where red eye occurs without changing the surrounding iris, so you won't be able to adjust the hue or the iris size. Now adjust the settings as we did before, adjusting the pupil lightness, glint size, and so forth, and then repeat with the second eye and now click OK. I'd also like to quickly show you a more advanced method of removing red eye if your subject has irregular shaped eyes or if the lids are covering the top or bottom parts of the iris. First, we'll need to duplicate the image. Open up the Layers palette by going to Palettes, then Layers. Then right-click on the image in the Layers palette and choose Duplicate. Then go to Adjust, then Red Eye Removal. Then click on Auto Human Eye and click the center of the pupil and drag out your eye. Don't worry if this overlaps the eyelids or skin because we'll be erasing the excess later on. 
Now make adjustments as we did before to the pupil lightness, iris size, glint size, and so on until these look natural. Then press OK. If part of the new iris overlaps the eyelids or eyelashes, we can use the eraser tool with the duplicate image layer selected to remove any overlaps. PaintShop Pro makes it easy to correct red eye in even the most difficult of photos with the red eye tool, so you can have fun experimenting with and restoring all your photographs. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.